Hi guys, hope you're well. Okay, I'm really excited because I'm going to show you how to make my beautiful, easy chilli jam. This chilli jam is so good, it's fun to do. And the way that I do it, it's got layer upon layer of beautiful flavours that will make dishes that you do. I love them with cheeses, I love them with crispy things like crispy squid, I love it in my stir fried rice, yes I do! So, it starts here with the chilli. I want 10 red chilies. You take the ends off, as soon as you've done that, I want you to get the chilies and run the knife down the length of the chilli, exposing the seeds here and this white part. The seeds and the white membrane are the hottest part of this incredible fruit. If you remove them, then we can get rid of most of that heat. Get a rubber glove on, because sometimes that heat from the chilli does kind of penetrate your hand and it stays there for a day. And if you touch your eye or other things, it can hurt. So get a teaspoon, scrape out the seeds, push it all to one side. It's a slightly annoying job, but it's well worth doing. So we'll get rid of the seeds and the stalks. So the hot bit, or most of it, has gone. So I'm gonna use a food processor. We'll go in with the chilies here. Uh, also, I'm gonna go in with four cloves of garlic. That'll just give it real fragrance and deliciousness. Then, a really nice little sort of cheat. If you go to the supermarkets and look at these jars of peeled peppers, they're really, really good. Just shake off the liquid and we'll put two or three of those into here and then simply put the lid on and give it a pulse. And now we just have to cook it in a pan. So on a medium high heat, I'm gonna put a nice high sided pan on. I'm gonna get these gorgeous chilies and I'll scrape them all into the pan, every last bit of them. So straight away, we're gonna go into that pan with 500 grams of pectin sugar. Pectin sugar or jam sugar. You can get this in the UK, you can get this all over Europe. Some countries, they might not have it, so just buy normal white sugar and get a sachet of pectin. It's a natural thickening agent, so that will give you a nice kind of jelly-like consistency when you make this jam. It makes all the difference. And then we'll go in with 500 milliliters of white wine or cider vinegar. Give it a nice little stir. We'll bring that to the boil and we'll simmer it on a lower heat for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's thick and gorgeous. Now, a nice little trick for beautiful flavour is using these Scotch bonnets. These are definitely my favourite chilli. They're really, really hot. So what we're going to do is just put our knife into it and poke it. That's all, nothing else. We're not going to chop it. Uh, we're not going to actually eat it. It's just going to scent and give the most amazing chilli flavour to this dish. Now, definitely what I want to do is give it a nice seasoning of salt. And now we just let it simmer and then I'll show you what to do next. OK, so this has had 25 minutes of just simmering away. You can see it's developed in colour. It's reduced by about half. It smells amazing. Now we get jars lids and just sterilize them. Pour this into the jars. Now you can use a funnel by all means. You can take the scotch bonnets out or if you like me, push it in, get one in there, a little surprise, come on. And that my friends will be a beautiful thing and I'll probably use this one right now. So let me take these away. The thing I love about this chili jam is you can use it on so many different things. I love it with a cheese board. I love it with things like crispy prawns or crispy squid like this. Let's go in there. We'll take a little bit of rocket. A nice little chunk of lemon. So while it's still hot, this one, as you can see, is still nice and runny. And it will melt back to that if you ever reheat it. If you look at this one, I did these earlier, and these are set. So you can see it's much more like a jam consistency. So there we go, look. Crispy squid, you know, with a lovely little bit of lemon over the top and that amazing chilli sauce. Drag it through there, come on. Yes, I love it. It's got a really good spice and it's got a long flavour. Scotch bonnet gives it a lot of love. Little bit of cheese on a cracker and you take a little bit of this chilli jam. Hallelujah. There you go, lovely people. Homemade chilli jam. Spicy, sweet, tangy and homemade. Go on, give it a go, you will not regret it.